Hey guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot readings, tarot readings from the heart Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here, I've got my lamp on uh, So this is uh, the reading for Scorpio, my May 2015 Okay, so this is your general tarot scope Now as you know, as usual, juggle the cards, pick eight out I'll pick one from the bottom uh, that will represent the general theme for the month um, and what I've decided to also do is pick an angel card especially if it's a reading that's kind of um, looks like it might be a little bit um, it's not to say it's a bad reading Scorpio okay but it, it did kind of alarm me I suppose in a way when I got the ten of swords as the general theme for May um, so yeah it did a little bit but I, I feel that amongst these um amongst these cards that some good stuff is gonna is gonna be happening for you guys but i feel that um during may um there it i mean i think for last month that there were choices to be made it was really funny because i think in last month's reading we had you guys walking away from something and you were walking towards the four of cups and it was funny because uh i'm a scorpio and that actually reading actually did sort of come true for me I feel that last month some of you guys were potentially working, walking towards something that um, you hadn't considered or that you'd considered in the past but you really didn't want to go for it but you decided to give it a chance sort of thing. This is what I was feeling with that reading. This month, um, yeah, the, the top of the card, the top of the, the top card, the card that's, the, the, the underlying reading for the month is the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, the Ten of Swords isn't, the prettiest card in the deck I mean I don't particularly like seeing that card a lot of the time because it to me whenever I've had that in my own personal reading it simply mean that meant that someone was going to be stabbing me in the back so somebody was going to be coming from behind that I didn't see and they were going to be doing something okay that I, that I didn't really like or you know um, exhibiting hey behavior that I didn't really want and but this card can also be the card of feeling like a victim and but what looking at the reading I feel that um, this is about you guys kind of maybe feeling that you're stuck to something or feeling that um, your hands are kind of tied with something or a feeling a feeling of uncertainty. This is what I'm feeling with this card. But I also see the Ten of Swords as being where the, those, the, one of those cards where there is a lot of kind of rebirth going on because the, the, the number 10 in the tarot is the final in the numerical cards so it's the final of you know the cards from two up to ten okay you've got the ace and then you've got it starting from number two which is really sort of starting the beginning of something and then it goes up to number ten which is kind of the culmination we've got a couple of the number tens in this reading so i feel that um there is i feel potentially going to be you're going to be on the precipice i feel looking at the reading of some change we don't have many major arcana cards in here uh we've got how many major arcanas we've got one major arcana no yeah one major arcana card the hermit in this reading but i feel with this ten of swords looking at the other cards that you are going to be um i feel potentially there might be some of you guys might be considering over may time an ending to something or a rebirth of something or um, maybe some form of transition going on there this is what I'm feeling with this but it could also be that some of you guys are going to be experiencing um, uncertainty somewhere or you might be suspicious of something somewhere I always feel that with the ten of swords as well that you, it's almost like you've got to watch your back with something or someone but I don't wish to scare anybody on this reading that's not what I'm here to do remember I'm a scorpion as well so um, I don't wish to do that but I just feel that um, it, it might be in May that you are, for some of you guys, there's going to be um, almost like getting, maybe getting to the end of something that wasn't great or or getting to the end of something and having some choices because we do have some choice cards in here as well. But I, again, it, it's a month of decisions I'm seeing for some of you guys. Um, I'll show you the first two cards. We've got the Two of Swords. And we've got the Seven of Cups. Both of these cards are about choices. They're about options. On the one card, um, the Two of Swords, we have someone who is... 
they're either burying their head in the sand or they're not wanting to make a choice on something. She's got a blindfold on and she's kind of uh, surrounded by water, which suggests that she, her emotions are probably in a little bit of turmoil or that she's kind of um, blocking or denying her emotions, denying how she feels about something. So I feel that um, coupled with the Seven of Cups, again, this is about someone who um, has some options available to them, but they're kind of don't know which one to go for there's a lot of shiny things here but if they choose one thing it might be the wrong decision if they choose another thing another cup it might be the right one um so they're kind of weighing their options up here so this is why i feel that um you're weighing your options about something here and i feel it could potentially it could be between two things because this sword cards this two of swords can if you look at it here it's got two swords and they're pointing in different directions. But she's also protecting her heart. So maybe there is a decision to be made in May and you're just, you, you might be suspicious of it or you might not be sure about it. You might be protecting yourself, okay? You might be, you might be better the devil you know on something. And I'll show you the angel card that came out for you guys after we finished this reading that I feel... Because I needed some added clarification and I really didn't want to choose another tarot card. I wanted to see what the angels had to say about this and what they could add to the reading. But I feel that um, there is an option in for you guys. And it could be something maybe that you have... Um... The Seven of Cups is very much a card also about our desires. Um, and for me it's linked in with the Law of Attraction as well in a way. But sometimes the Seven of Cups can be about putting things on a pedestal. It can maybe be about unrealistic dreams, potentially. But I feel that there is an option here for some of you guys. There, is, there are certain options, but um, you might be unsure about it because the Two of Swords is present next door to this. And I feel that where we've got the Two of Swords, there is an uncertainty. Maybe you, 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 you don't trust something that's coming. You're not sure whether you can trust it again or trust it. Because we do have the Ten of Swords here, someone who's been stabbed in the back. So if you've been stabbed in the back, you're going to be on your guard with something. So maybe maybe you need maybe the, the reason why the Ten of Swords has come out as the, as the theme is maybe it's something that you've experienced in your past. And maybe it's something that you're needing to kind of think about with this Two of Swords. Maybe whatever it was that stabbed you in the back, maybe they're coming back around again and you're going to need to kind of think about it. But the funny thing is, is that we do have the Nine of Swords as well. And we do have the Page of Wands. The pages are all about youth and young, young things, things that are kind of just sprouting up, things that are kind of babies, things that are in their beginning stages. They can also be about, um, they can also be about news, okay? And usually the page of ones is, um, usually it's about good news coming in, very good news coming in. It can be work related, it can be about a new endeavour, something that, um, something that is fresh and um, something that is potentially raring to go. The, the page of wands, if we were to look at it as a little kid, he'd be kind of really full of fiery, passionate. He'd be running all over the place, you know. He'd be the fast one of the pages in the tarot, okay? The page of cups would be, to my mind, quite sensitive because he's all about emotions. The page of pentacles would be a little kind of financial whiz kid, maybe. The Page of Swords would probably be, could be a little bit of a troublemaker maybe, but he'd be also um, a great thinker. But the Page of Wands is very creative and he's just sort of raring to go on a lot of things and he wants to know everything, you know, so he's a real little imp. So it's either that maybe some of you guys are worried about a child or something maybe, or I feel that there is... I feel looking at these cards, I, I don't know why I get this, well I do know why I get this impression guys. I just feel that um, with the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups you are deliberating over an option that's come in. But it's something that you don't fully trust or something that you're not fully kind of, um, you're not fully trusting off. And we get this all the way through. We've got Two of Swords here. 
someone's got blindfolds on they're thinking about something they might be trying to deny something or they might be trying to protect themselves from something which is why they're not making a decision and we have the seven of cups maybe something's come in and it's too good to be true maybe you've been burnt in the past with something and you're reluctant to kind of trust it Again, we've got the Page of Wands, something that is good news coming in, something that is really good coming in, something, some sort of good communication. But yet again, there's a little bit of anxiety around that because we have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, sorry. So you're a bit anxious about it. And I feel that it all ties in with this Ten of Swords. What is it in the past that's maybe stabbed you in the back? What is it in the past that's kind of... Um, not being honest enough for you what is it that you're kind of a little bit dubious about i just get the sense that you're dubious in may about something almost like something comes in and it might be too good to be true and you're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place there maybe that's what to do maybe you're already established something with something or somewhere maybe and you're just kind of oh well i'm not sure about this i'm not sure whether i really want to go for it because the last time i did something like this i didn't trust it so I'm, that, you know, but it seems so good to be true. This is what I'm getting from the cards. We also have the Ten of Cups here. And we've got the Two of Wands. So there is something new happening, I feel, in um, May for you Scorpios. And we've seen this all along, I feel, for the last few months. The same sort of reading where there's been something that you've either walked into maybe that you haven't considered in the past or you did you didn't you kind of looked over or you weren't interested in and you've gone for it potentially in april when i look at this ten of cups it shows a rainbow over a dark sky so it shows hope it shows potential and then we've got the two of wands here someone who's holding a globe they're holding on to um to, they're holding on to one, one, one of the ones, but there's two ones here, which can always suggest maybe partnership. So is this about something that has potential? Is this a partnership maybe? Are you musing over something that didn't work out? Or something that kind of you've been a little bit, you know, burnt within the past? Are you still musing over this? Again, the two of ones can be about decisions as well. There's a lot of decision cards here. There's a lot of thinking cards as far as I'm concerned. Two of Wands is also a card about kind of exploration. When you get the Ace of Wands, it's about the beginning of something, the um, the start of something, the, uh, the seeds of something happening. Usually it's creative or it could be sexual. But I feel that in this case with the Ace, even though there isn't an Ace card here, I'm just leading up to the Two of Wands, it's always the beginning of something that's quite creative Something with a lot of fire, with a lot of passion, because obviously the ones are a fire sign. And the two of wands is the starting out of that exploration, the starting out of building that thing up. This guy on the two of wands is facing this, this ten of cups, this rainbow, this potential. He's considering walking into this thing that's already going, this thing with potential. Usually this would represent a family scene, but as with the tarot, it can represent anything. So to me, this looks like somebody who's looking or considering walking into something that's already there. Something potentially with some potential, potentially with some potential. Yeah, something that's got some potential to it. Something that is, um, it's almost like giving something another chance. I don't know why I get this feeling. It's almost like giving something another chance. Because the Ten of Cups has this rainbow over a darkened sky, which suggests that there was some bleakness with something now, but now there's hope with it. So maybe looking at walking into something that now is quite hopeful, that wasn't hopeful before. So maybe this is where the Ten of Swords comes in. Something wasn't hopeful in the past. Something maybe fell through and maybe you felt disappointed because the Ten of Swords can definitely be a card about disappointment and feeling let down. So maybe it's something that you felt let down about that's come round again and you're a little bit kind of like, well, do I actually go for this or not? Do I actually put my faith in it again? And maybe this is where the anxiety comes through. We also have the Three of Pentacles and the Hermit card as the final cards, guys. 
Three of Pentacles is really a twofold card. It's a card of either that you are the person who is quite skilled or you are the person who is laying the plans and needing advice on something. This is a collective, a team effort. But then we have the Hermit card next to this. Somebody's thinking about something. Someone's going inward to kind of contemplate something. Someone's trying to kind of find the answer to something. So you're definitely trying to find an answer amidst something that is happening. It could be within the workplace, maybe. But I do feel very strongly that, you know, for me, key cards that suggest to me, because I always look when I'm doing readings in, um, in the train, that you know, in the pattern in some of the cards, and... I do see in the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords and the Hermit that there's a lot of thinking going on within those cards. So I see thinking happening. In the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands, I see options. In the Ten of Cups and in the Three of Pentacles, I see something that's being established. But in the Ten of Cups, I see maybe something that was not happening before, that is quite, uh, was maybe a trial. Now there is happiness over this because it's the, we see Ten Cups beaming out of a dark sky. And wherever you see a rainbow, there is hope. Rainbows to me signify hope. And it looks with the two of wands like you're considering walking into this scene. Something that uh, maybe wasn't so hopeful before is now hopeful. If I go quiet, guys, it's because I'm really fascinated by this reading and I'm just really looking at it. And it's, it's quite, quite exciting to me for Scorpio. Let me show you the last card as well, because... Um, this is the angel card that was pulled for you guys. And it's funny because it's the six of fire, which is the six of wands. It's a victory card. Victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or awards, okay? So I do feel that this is something to do with um, an obstacle that was there in the past with something. But now it's this obstacle is out of the way. And now something really good is happening. Six of Wands often is a card about promotions and um, success coming through for something, contracts being signed, that type of thing. So I feel that the angels presented that card because they're saying that something good is on its way. But I do feel some good news about something is on its way. But I do feel looking at these cards that uh, this is for me something that you guys or for some of you guys that you... You've had experience of prior. Something that didn't work out. Something maybe that you felt uh, stabbed in the back about. Or that you felt um, disappointed. You might have felt let down by something or someone. But I feel that uh, something is coming round again. And they're maybe wanting to present you with another. With an offer on something. Because we do very strongly see options in the Seven of Cups. And I feel this is something that you maybe have put to bed. Maybe something that you've just kind of let go because you kind of felt like, well, it didn't work out in the past, so I'm just going to leave it. And I feel that with the Two of Swords, coupled with the Seven of Cups, this is something that you're having to think about. You're thinking, do I go down that route again? Because we see the woman protecting herself with these two swords. Which decision do I make? Again, the Seven of Cups, they're being presented with something that is quite gleaming, quite... You know, there's a lot of gold cups here. It's quite attractive. It's quite seductive. But I feel because the Ten of Swords is underlying this reading that this is something or somewhere that you've been before and you're not sure whether to trust that. Maybe it's a partnership that didn't work out. Business partnership, maybe. That's come back round again. Maybe there was something that didn't work out and there was a lot, a lot of obstacles to it. Maybe these obstacles are gone now. And somebody's coming round again and saying, you know... We don't have any obstacles now going on. Would you like to, you know, have another go at this? We do have the Nine of Swords here. 
And remember with the tarot, sometimes things aren't as bad as they look. They're just little bits of the human condition, you know. Maybe you're having sleepless nights over this thing because we do have the Page of Wands. This is news. This is good news. Same as the Six of Wands. Good news coming in. So you're feeling a little bit anxious around this good news because perhaps you're in a place now in your life where you're feeling, I'm actually, I feel kind of okay where I am. I don't really know whether I really want to go down this route again because it didn't work out the first time. We do have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands and to my mind I look at these cards and I feel that this person is stepping into something that is now quite hopeful. Something that wasn't hopeful because we have those Ten Cups over that dark sky. When I read Tower I often look at the pictures and look at and feel try and feel what they're saying to me. So I feel that it's almost like, you know, you're saying, do I walk into this scene now? It looks all right, but do I really kind of, you know, and because this person on the Two of Wands is holding the globe, it's almost like they've got the world in their hands. So they've got choices that could go either way. And then we have the Three of Pentacles and the Hermit card. So this would suggest something to do with maybe teamwork or a team. Or maybe trying to lay plans for something. I'm sure that we have the Three of Pentacles in your reading for last month as well. So I do feel that there is some form of a decision to make over something that seems quite good this month that's coming in. Sorry, for May that's coming in. Something that seems really good for May that's coming in. But I do feel that you're going to be kind of thinking, it's not a bad reading at all. When I first got that Ten of Swords as the last card, I was kind of like, oops, what is this? But obviously with the Tarot, you've got to put everything together, guys. That's the way it works. You've got to put everything together. And you've got to kind of um, look at what the story is telling you. You know, it would be very easy for me to sit here and say, oh, well, in May you're going to get stabbed in the back. But there aren't cards that suggest to me anything that's really bad. They all suggest to me a decision. Something that you don't, that maybe, I, I mean, I do really strongly feel that with this Ten of Swords, this is something that you guys have already experienced. You've been stabbed in the back or something's greatly disappointed you. But I do feel that whatever this disappointing thing was or is, uh, it might be that there's been a halt to something or someone's not turned out how you thought they would but maybe this person is coming back and apologizing with something and giving you a choice of something but i do feel that you're going to be presented with a you know a very um good or a very strong offer of something almost something that seems too good to be true this time round and i do feel that some of you are going to be needing to decide do i step into that or don't i because i've got my fingers burnt before on it so do i trust it again so I do feel that there's going to be a lot of kind of inner thinking here going on. This is what I'm feeling. I mean, the Hermit card might also be somebody that you seek advice from because the Hermit can sometimes represent a lawyer or someone who's quite quiet or someone who does a lot of thinking and a lot of, you know, inner work. So maybe you're seeking some advice about something to do with this from someone who's quite quiet and, you know, quite thoughtful on stuff. But I, I do see options here and some probably some very good ones, but there is, there is some anxiety around this for some of you guys. And I feel that it could be to do with where you are at the moment and do you accept something really good that's coming in or not? Because perhaps, potentially you might have been there before and it just simply didn't work out, so you're just kind of like, hmm, I don't know. But I do feel it's to do with some good news coming in because we do have that page of wands and we've also got this six of fire, six of wands from the angels as a message about what it potentially this reading was all about. So this is about good news being on its way. So I do feel some good news is on its way and you're going to need to kind of weigh whether you want to go for it or not because it feels to me like you've had experience with this in the past and it may not have worked out. You might have been disappointed by it but it might have come round again okay Scorpio that is your reading for uh for um, May 2015 let me know as usual what you think and um thank you for joining me and I'll speak to you soon take care